So when an RWA is minted on one chain, it is most likely that it has been programmed for that chain specifically. Um, this one's actually a bit tricky. As you know, we've, we've launched uh, Solotex, which is in partnership with Texture Capital, US-based dealer broker, and we're actually dealing with um, this issue at the very moment. Um, especially for heavily regulated assets like stocks, meeting compliance standards across different jurisdictions is a very difficult ta task. And I think, honestly, I think uh, it's a still work in progress. And um, for, for an RWA to be able to be functional the same way as it was minted on the original chain, the, the RWA developers and the bridges need to adopt a standard that would, trans, uh, that would transfer those functionalities and those rules such as KYC AML, such as um, you know, whitelisting uh, and jurisdiction um, requirements into the other chain. So this is a huge challenge, and I think it's one of the, the biggest uh, open uh, areas in, in the RWA interoperability.